Yeah, I think uh, the place will, I, I promise it will surprise you first and foremost because the environment is so serene, uh, the atmosphere is so conducive, the learning environment is there, all the facilities required as a university is available. And not only that, uh, the cordial relationship between the staffs and the lecturers and so on, it will actually amaze you. And anytime you are looking for support, you just say, and the place is so secured. Uh, I think to, to my to my surprise is you just see how friendly even from the get the security will welcome you, and then uh, yes of course it's a university that is imagined, but then um, when you are there, even outside the university you find that other people who are selling different things even restaurants and so on. Once you say you are from that particular university, you just see the respect and love coming up from there. So I think it's a university that is actually been highly respected in that region in that country and also in other countries because of what they saw. Uh, this also happens because of the kind of uh, the trained uh, students they are producing and also the quality of uh, education that is provided there. And then coupled with you know high level people also being there. I know there are many uh, House of uh, State House Assembly members, senators, reps, including some to be ministers and so on. They've also been part of the school. And when they are also there, you just find out they feel uh, very, very fine. So I think when you are there, you just be surprised with so many things from the human angle, from the environment angle, from the conducive relationship with all other people. Well, I, I think I, as, as a PhD student, I also have the opportunity to actually train, uh, you know, the. Uh, uh, BSc students in there and I think the quality of uh, uh, response I see during the exams, during the test and also one-on-one -on -one is really superb. And also when you see the university students when they are doing their practicals in other, uh, even in school, in tertiary, uh, in hospitals, I think even the service providers and even other people they used to mention that these students are actually doing greater and this happens because a lot of attention has been given to practicals to make the student to be more productive, to put hands-on trainings and ensure that uh, they get it. And they will also be, always be given the right uh, uh, materials at the current situation. Yes, they will know about some of the updated stuff, but more interest is now on where are we in the modern world, and, I mean, the state of the art. So I think if you, I'm recommending it because of the trend uh, lecturers that we have who are most of them actually study abroad some even teaching currently abroad but they just spend their time to make sure that during their time they come and provide that lectures mm -hmm. and also you are also being given knowledge that is current very updated and you'll be given the materials that will support your reading and expand yourself for example some of the assignments nobody will give you assignment for example is waiting for you to write on paper most of the assignments actually you type it you send it through including WhatsApp, including emails, and all other modern world way of communication. So I think that is actually making the student feel attractive. That's why when you see students of my own, when they are even sharing their experience on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever, they just, you just see this inspiration from them that actually shows that, yes, they are connected, yes, they are in love, and yes, they love the university more than ever. Just like us as well, when we do our postgraduate studies there, uh, masters in public health, and currently doing PhD in public health as well. In the parts of the world, because the university is, um, uh, if you talk about the certificate now, my own certificate is actually recognized globally, because the university is already a member of many many international association of universities. For example, a member of the National Union of Universities, which the president and his team currently were in Mexico, Pivla, to be able to attend an, an international symposium or seminar. And it was a highly representation and a lot of connections and that. And also the president also, uh, also visited the US, where he's also a member of American universities as well. And then also uh, in Britain, where we also have the ASIC registration, which is accredited services for international schools, colleges, and universities. It's also another 
serious body for uh, quality service education. Those education, those schools that actually reach the standard, because in Britain you can't be given those kind of certificate if you're not qualified. So the certificate is not only recognized between the African region, Nigeria and Niger, it's also recognized globally. That's why there is even uh, a kind of discussions going on at the high level where some of the students in Maun at some point if they want to graduate in other universities abroad, there is also that linkage. So I think, uh, to be frank to you, uh, Maun is one of the first kind of its kind in the West Africa region in terms of always expanding to the world educational sector around the world to ensure that the students of Maun are recognized everywhere, the certificates are known everywhere, and all these collaborative environments. And let me also tell you that it's also an environment where we saw intellectual people from different kinds of life, from development cycle, from physicians, from politicians, they all come together. So you can imagine when you have this kind of brilliant people coming together as well. It's also about learning different skills, and a medical doctor is also learning from the politicians, learning from people uh, and the graduates. So I think uh, it's a place to go, and I'm recommending my own university for everyone, for everybody. The, the, there were so much challenges in the past, but they were actually going out. For example, one of the challenge was when there was this misconception between uh, Maun and the NUC of Nigeria about accreditation stuff and so on. That is actually over. So, but now the only challenge that people have is because that particular information is still going around to people. So that's why people try to clarify something. And most of the people that look for this information, you find after when they go there for the first time, they become an advocate for people to go to that. So I think the major challenge is, uh, is actually about location now. And this location is about moving from Nigeria to Marathi, you know, the issue of border closure and so on, all those tensions going on now. But also now, there is also another hope because those problems are going to be solved. For example, when Nigeria and Niger solve the problem and also other uh, uh, universities like that of Maun are going to be established, uh, about to open in Nigeria. You already have the Kaduna, uh, um, you already have another school on the Maun, uh, Maun Techno College of Health uh, Science and Technology in Kaduna, who is about to kick start uh, very soon. And also you have the Maun Nigeria, who is about to start also in Nigeria. And you have Togo coming up, you have Chad, you have many other countries also uh, who are really interested to have this kind of setup because of the quality uh, structure, the quality connections, global connection they saw all over the world. Well, I think uh, to be sup to sup to my greatest surprise, the materials I have are during our coursework. I don't think I have any friend that have ten to twenty percent of that, and that happens because this, the lecturers that are there they mostly study their PhD abroad, and they have that mindset of ready to share whatever they have. So that gave me the opportunity when I'm talking about PhD. Most of them who they are even PhD holders now they just looks as if they are hearing something for the first time. So, like I said, the conducive environment, the trust, you know, the interest to share knowledge by the tutors, the lecturers, it's all there. You can be given all the materials you need, you can go to any of your lecturer for a son and so on. So I think I'm in a position to say that I actually learned so much more than many of my colleagues who did not study in my own, in fact, wherever they study. Well, I think the president and founder of Marina Abacha American University, um, uh, Professor Adama Bokar Gorzo, is an amazing personality. He's a young person that, in the history of this country, we haven't seen one like him before, and even now. And because, apart from the, to even think about coming up with such kind of initiative, a, a kind of educational setup, it's a private, but it's actually like a public, because many scholarships are there and so many support to people, humanitarian stuff from him. I think he has, he's an excellent individual that we are actually looking out to try and be like him. Recently he said he wants to see more people like him and, and I think we are praying because if you have people like him, realize it. But I think the commitment also happens because he's very committed, he's very passionate, he is trustworthy and he always focuses on what he is trying to achieve. So I think um, he's just one person that um, 
I think, I, I, to be frank to you, I never met any individual in my whole life. I travel around this world, many countries, but I've never met somebody like Professor Abubakar, Adam Abubakar Gorzo in my whole life. I would, I would like to say that there are a bunch of uh, forums where you also learn about more about Maria Abacha American Universities. There are Facebook pages, there are Instagram pages, there are Twitter of the President, Maria Abacha American University uh, Twitter. You can follow up and just get all the updates. They also have the website which is www.maun.net. You just go there, you just see all the detailed information about Maun anytime, everywhere, anyhow. Thank you.